North Texas is uniquely generous in the way that it stands up for causes not only here but around the world. One example is a huge fundraiser in town that raises money for victims of human trafficking. So I wanted to take you there. Excited to be taking you behind the scenes at Fashion for Freedom. So this is a big fashion show fundraiser raising money for My Refuge House, which is a therapeutic home for young survivors of human trafficking in the Philippines. Here with Kim Jones from My Refuge House. We are so delighted to be here. And just through the process, I've been learning more really about the human trafficking issue. So you bought the house in the Philippines, but yet we're raising money here in Dallas. Talk about the connection there and why the Philippines is so important. Yes, we are in Cebu, Philippines, and uh, for us, we immediately connected. Well, at least for me, I've been involved in the anti-trafficking probably for now 14 years, and about 11 years ago, my church actually said, hey, I've, we've heard about this organization in the Philippines, will you go and take a look and visit? And when I did, I realized when I stepped foot on campus, I was like, this place is really doing some remarkable work. I've been on a lot different um, a lot of different opportunities to see what other organizations were doing yeah. at the time and I thought immediately this place is really doing something special and in light of that um, for us at least um, at the time we felt like because the Cebu was considered what they considered the sex tourism capital of the world um, it was an obvious connection because there is this connection to the West because the Philippines um, English is such a well-spoken language there. So it was an automatic recognition that we had something to uh, to do, to respond to. We, we needed to do something, we needed to respond. So the effort tonight is a fashion show that you do every single year. You're really bringing in some international minds to come together for just people from different cultures to bring yeah. fashion together. What are we experiencing? Oh my gosh, I, every year it's a little bit different. And so what's really cool is that I think that I know where we're going, but inevitably we always go in a direction <laughs> that is very surprising. This year we have Essie Azenabor, who Essie is originally from Nigeria. And you know everyone loves Essie. Everyone loves her in Dallas she's, and everywhere. Right? Yeah. She's yep. such a fan. Yep. She's a fabulous human in general. But beyond that, she is just a fantastic designer. And she's just been so incredibly kind to us. In addition to that, we have somebody that is from Manila, oh, Filipina. And it is a fantastic line. I would encourage people to go and check out their website because she's doing some really cool work to empower indigenous people. And then in addition, we have Stephen Godot. He's a Dallas favorite. Right? Yes. He's a really great guy. And listen, he is the sweetest, kindest human ever. So we've got all three of them on stage. We've got dance. We've got music. And for us, the evening is really an opportunity to reflect the work that we are doing in Cebu because the work we're doing is so hopeful and so joyful. Yeah, share where the money is going to go. This is a big fundraiser. We are raising yes. a ton of money tonight. Where are this the money going to go? Tonight, Dallas, this area actually helps to raise almost all of our budget. We don't have a huge budget, but Dallas really shows up and really just provides in such huge, big ways. And it goes to all operating costs, but not just that, I, it goes to the, the restoration, the healing of our girls, um, from therapy to health care to their education, every bit tonight that's raised goes back to what we're doing on the ground in the Philippines. I also wanted to let you know that Kim Jones is actually an educator on human trafficking, so if you need somebody to come and speak to your group and really educate you and make sure that you're informed, she is up for doing that. They're also always looking for donors and for volunteers to help out with My Refuge House. We will put those details on our website, CW33.com.